Hi, everybody. Welcome to Total Body Conditioning. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm using a yoga mat. I am barefoot, and we're going to do a whole workout using one of these stretchy TheraBands. So if you don't have one of these, grab your um, tubing, the tubing with handles, and uh, let's get to it. All right, let's start right here with our feet wide, toes turned out. You're going to have your band in your hands, arms wide. We're going to pull out as we squat just to get warmed up right here. So this workout will be a little different than the total body conditioning that we've done in the past. We won't do a lot of impact today. We're going to do things that strengthen the smaller muscles of the body. We'll still move our whole body so we get resistance and cardio. But I think by the end of this class, you're going to feel like you got a total body workout. Two more of these. Now hold it down. Knees are bent. Arms are high. Pull to one side. Pull to the other. Core stays strong. Good. Both arms pull to the chest. You can just start to feel how we're going to get into some muscles that you might not have seen for a minute. Four, three, two, and one. So take the band all the way up, press it out in front of you, open your shoulder blades, drop your chin, lower yourself to the ground, turn the feet and straighten the legs. Come back to flat back, turn the toes out, scoop up and around. Let's do that a couple times. Round it forward, turn the toes, stretch. Heels come in, up and open. One more time. Up and open. Good, bring the band behind you, right under your armpits, feet together, pick up your knees. You might wrap this band softly, but you don't need to. They're pretty grippy to just hold by themselves. Let's add a press and a pull. So one knee up as you press, one knee up as you, you pull. Eight more. Bring one knee up and hold. Cross the band. <laughs> A little balance. Four, three, two, one. Open, switch. Stand tall, cross. A little bit of balance, a little bit of core. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and let that go. Shake out your legs. Set your band aside for just one moment. Let's take a nice deep breath, arms up and down. Breathe. Bring it up high. Take it over one side, up high, over the other, up one side, over. One more. Go ahead and turn yourself all the way over to the ground. Hands on the earth, toes tucked under. Find a plank pose. Your feet are gonna be pretty close together. So I'm gonna give you a couple options. Easy option number one, drop a knee, open out wide. Come to center. Opposite knee drops, arm comes up. Option two, you can stay on your feet. So roll open, lift, switch. Roll open 
and switch. So let's do one more on each side. You can choose knee or feet. And come to center, hold it in nice and tight. We're gonna alternate, bring in one knee down and then the other. Bring that knee as close to your hands as you can. Scoot it all the way in toward the floor. Eight, seven, abs in, six, four, three, two, and one. Drop to your knees, stretch it out. Take a few deep breaths right here. Stretch your shoulders, stretch your lower back. Tuck your toes, lift into downward facing dog. Raise one leg, shift forward into plank pose. Come back, switch. Opposite leg, lift, come up and switch legs. Let's do that one more time. Each side, lift, shift, lift, and lower. And down. Let your feet come close to your hands. Press your hands to your shins. Soften your knees and sweep all the way up. Open your arms and shake it out. Okay, so grab your band and have a seat. Okay, so grab your band and have a seat on your mat. And we're gonna take the band up overhead. Stretch to put some tension in the band and then you're just gonna come to one side and lift. Up and over, one side and lift. And as you go over, two things are happening. You're getting a stretch in your side and a contraction in the opposite side. Core stays strong. Beautiful. Good, keep that going. Down, squeeze those obliques, lift, squeeze and lift. One more time on each side. Keep the band up and we're gonna rotate one side and center. One side and center. Good, keep that feeling in your core. All right, now straight forward. We did this in the warm up. Tuck your chin, round your back, and then scoop all the way up. Come into a little back bend, arms behind you. Up and over. Come into a little back bend. And then test the limits of your shoulders in a safe way. Come up and maybe all the way around. Let's just play a little bit with that shoulder mobility. Good, we'll do that a couple more times. Up and over. And if you don't come all the way to the floor, that's okay. You're just working on shoulder mobility. Hold it up this time. We'll go back where we started. Take it side bend, up, side bend, and up. And let's release. Shake out your hands, come to stand. Now I have three or four, I've got several different kinds of bands and you'll be able to tell if you have a few that some have more tension than others. 
So if you do have that option, go ahead and grab a band that gives you a little more tension, a little more challenge. We're gonna come behind our shoulders. We're gonna do a chest press with a squat. So your feet are wider than hips distance. Your toes are pointed out to the corners. Here we go. We're gonna just press and lift. So from the side, it looks like this. You're underneath your shoulders. Good, breathe deep. Your chest lifts, your chin lifts, your hips drop. Let's pulse it down for three, cross your arms in front, three and open, cross three. Abs in tight, come on. Go back to singles, sit low, stand high. Good, go four more. Give it a little rest, shake it out. Leave your band aside for just a moment. Take it out wide to a plie, palms up. We'll start here. Really solid in your feet. Let's add a lift of the shoulders. Good. Your spine is straight. Your core is strong. Let's take that one in threes as well. Pulse three, two, one, and lift. Good. One more time, just like that. Now, singles, we're gonna go all the way to the floor. Sweep it down, sweep it up. Beautiful, come on. Whole body. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it on the bottom. Push one shoulder across. Stretch it out. And go ahead and come on up. Switch sides. All right, come to the top of your mat. Give me one sun salutation. Arms lift. Fold forward. Press halfway. Down dog. Shift forward, plank pose, knees or toes, lower halfway, and lift. Down dog. Come forward. Press your hands to your shins and lower. Scoop up and down. All right, friends, grab that band. All right, have a seat. And we'll come into boat pose. Put that band around the bottom of your feet and lift up into boat pose. You can grab anywhere on the band that you like. Press through your feet, pull through your shoulder blades. Put a slight bend in the knee, push away. Good, find your strong core here. So here we're working quads, hamstrings, and core, but you're also getting some really good upper back stabilization, postural help. And release that. Sit into boat pose without the help of the band and just notice the difference. Pull that waistband up off the floor. Inhale to come out a little wider. Exhale to come in. Inhale out. Exhale in. Tell me the truth. 
hand, grab your knees, pull your back up. Come up to stand. Let's switch to outer legs. Go ahead and stand in the band. And you're gonna hold the band here at the side. Knees are soft, core strong. Press, stand, press, stand, press, stand. Good, press and stand. Come on, core stay strong. Keep that going, slow and strong. Sometimes slower is harder, right? Hold it out for three. So here's your balance. Three, two, one, stand on it. Three, two, one, stand. Three, two, one, stand. Go back to singles. You should really be feeling those outer hips right now. Woo. Pull and pull. Four, three, two. We'll finish this set off with squats. So just keep your hands right where they are. Sit low, stand high. Sit low. The more you pull on those bands, the more resistance you have to stand up against. Come on. All right, let's take a sun salutation. These help us keep that heart rate up, body warm. Lift up, fold forward. Press to lift, down dog. Take a vinyasa. Plank, knees or toes. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Bring your feet forward. Cross hands to shins, lower a little more, and scoop your arms high. Bring it back home. Okay, grab your band, come down to the ground. We're gonna go back into that boat pose. Your knees can be bent or straight. This time we're gonna bring the bands together. So you're gonna hold in one hand and rotate to that side and then other side. So I just keep switching the hand that's on top as I pull to this side. So you're feeling your obliques, but we're getting more into back muscles as well. And remember all those core muscles work together. They all work to stabilize your spine, to give you the strength to be upright, pain-free, mobile. Keep breathing. Side to side. And then go ahead and let your band go. Roll down onto your back. Bicycles, same thing now. You're working your core, but you're getting deep into those obliques. Keep breathing, keep moving. Last eight, seven, six. And knees to chest, come on up. All right, my friends. Woo. Let's stand in this band again. So give yourself some nice resistance here. Turn your toes out. <laughs> Just a little. If you do what I did and go too much, you're gonna lose it. All right, so plie squats. We'll start here.
Perfect. Now bring the band in front of you so that you have to come forward as you drop your hips back. Arms forward, hips back. You guys, this is a really awesome way to teach you that squat position where your hips go back and your chest comes forward, but you don't round down. Good. Good, go ahead and come down. Bands come in the center and cross out. Out, keep your core strong. Back of your shoulders. Ooh, so fun. Eight more here. You can cross the hands the other way if you like. It doesn't make that much difference which one's in front, they're pretty close. But you can cross if you like. Four more right here, friends. You're slightly forward. Your core is strong. And release. Woo! Let your band go. Take one sun salutation. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Half lift. Downward facing dog. Take a vinyasa. Breathe here. Relax your neck. Press into your mat. Look forward. Feet make their way to the hands. Half lift. Fold forward. And scoop it up. Hands to heart. <clears throat> okay, grab your bands. Have a seat. Finding some new ways to work today. You're gonna to put the band around one foot, one foot. The other foot can either be bent here or open, kind of on the side of the foot with the knee dropping open. All right, cinch up so that your back is straight and you're just gonna lower and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Now check it out. The closer you are to your foot, the easier it is because you can't go as far. But the farther away you come, you have to add the strength of your own core to the resistance of the band. So test the waters. Check it out. We'll do two more on this leg. Probably feeling your quads, right? And release around the other foot. The foot, opposite foot can be flat or dropped open. All right, sit tall, cinch up, lower and lift. And see if you can coordinate the leg and the torso moving together, down and up. Keep breathing. This is easy to hold your breath on this one. I want you to really try hard not to do that. Good, down two. Hold on tight, let's do four more. And cinch up more, you can let a little tension go. Use your hot sauce. Up, and let that go. <clears throat> All right, shake it out. This is a great place to grab a drink of water. You're more than halfway through. You're gonna take the band in one foot standing. Hold that band in one hand, two handles in one hand, come out to your toes. Keep your foot flexed. You can use your other arm for balance. We're just gonna lift this one leg. And 
And what I want you to do is try not to lift with the hand, but keep the hand neutral. Let the leg do the lifting. Four more. And then hold that leg up, swing it in front, hold with two hands, take the leg out and across. Stabilization in your hips. Bring it across, switch hands. So the leg is across the body, you're balancing and you're twisting. Switch feet. Before you do, just notice. Notice both hips. There might be a difference there, huh? All right, step in the band. Kind of take as much of the flat band as you can as the foot goes out to the side. That'll fold it better. Here we go. Lift the leg. Try not to pull it up with your arm. Use your leg muscles. Arm can be out or here on your hip. Nice. Good, just nice smooth exercise, smooth motion. Hold this next one up, come out front, hold with two hands and just bring your leg out and across. A little bit of balance, you can go slower, faster. Stabilizing through your hips. Take it across, opposite hand holds, balance and twist. Keep breathing and release. Woo. All right, take everything out. Let's do another sun salutation. Breathe up, dive forward. Half lift, downward facing dog. As you shift to plank pose, pause, press into your hands. Shoulders open, belly strong. Shifting forward, you can drop your knees or stay up on your toes. Spin the crease of your elbows forward. And then the chest comes down, the hips stay up, lower to the earth. Lift to cobra or up dog and press back, down dog, and look forward, feet to hands, half lift, two forward, hold, sweep it up, deep breath, hands to heart, grab your band, have a seat. down here on the floor around both feet again so this time we're going to get down on our backs try to get the flat as flat a band as you can on the bottom of your feet feet are about hips distance apart the bands are crossed we're going to press out out into those outer legs Good, really press out. Feeling this in those outer legs. Squeeze. Four, three, Two, hold this next one out, hold, and pulse, pulse, pulse. You are good enough. Breathe into something new. What does this day offer you? What can be new today? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. Bring your knees to your chest and just stretch it out a little bit. Good. 
Go ahead and bring yourself up to standing. All right, feet wide. You're probably feeling those outer edges. We're gonna take the arms out, alternate the heels off the floor. Every possibility is yours today. Both heels up, hold, two, three, release. Hold, two, three, release, hold. Two, three, release. All right, how about holding and bringing the arms up high? Hold, arms forward. Hold, arms out. Drop your heels. Turn out into warrior two. Use your obliques. Come all the way over. I want you to imagine you've got a great big ball in your hands. And you're turning, you're using those obliques. There you go. Come back to warrior two, switch sides. Toes turn out, back toes turn in. Go to reverse and turn that giant steering wheel so you're using your obliques. Nice, you are good enough. We're not here to get better. We're here to stay great. We're here to just be the best version of ourselves we can be today, physically, mentally, emotionally. Motion is lotion, right? An object in motion stays in motion. Come back to center. Alternate your heels. And come up on toes. Lift your heels. Arms up. Arms front. Hold here for three more breaths, toes, heels up or down, your choice. And release, grab your bands. So once again, that familiar plie position, arms overhead. You're gonna come into a side bend, and here, bottom arm hugs in, presses out, top arm presses up. Bottom arm, top arm, and really keep that tension. Bottom arm, top arm. So the work really comes as we lock out that elbow and press into that tricep. Try that on the other side, lift high, Hold your core, come up and over as far as you can. Elbow in, elbow down. Elbow in, elbow down. Good, keep your bend, keep your strength. Keep your bend, stay sideways. Core is getting stronger. Go ahead and come up, bend both elbows so the band comes to your chest, lock out on top. You might give yourself a little more tension. Tight. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squat a little deeper. Four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Shake those out. All right, you guys, 
just going to do one more little set of kind of a powery yoga thing that helps you get really warm here as we approach the end of our, our class. So bring your arms up, fold forward from the hips, press to your shins, and as your hands hit the mat, you can step or jump right down into Chaturanga. When you get there, lift and come into downward facing dog. Come up onto your toes, put a deep bend in your knees, really root into your hands and do some little jumps here. Just some little donkey jumps coming up into your hands, little partial handstand. Raise your right leg high, shift forward into plank pose. Knee to chin, leg up high, knee to chin. Leg up, in and step. Rise on up, warrior one. Here in warrior folks, really strong warrior. Feet rooting down, elbows wide, chest lifted. Legs so powerful. Fingers up, bring it down. Lower down to chaturanga. And then lift. Woo. Left leg raises, shift forward, knee to chin, lift it out, knee to chin, lift out, knee to chin, step through, rise up, warrior one, powerful warrior, open. Release high, hands down, take your vinyasa, one more, chaturanga. Up dog to downward facing dog. Breathe here. Look forward, feet to hands. Half lift and lower. Forward fold. Breathe here. Put a big bend in your knees. Scoop up into chair pose. Your weight is in your heels. Your thumbs are reaching back. Navel to spine. Breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. Really hug in through the core. For a little more challenge, come up on your toes. Balance. Breath. Hold on here. Bring your hands to your hips. If your heels are up, drop them and stand. Shake everything out. Grab your band one more time. We're moving into just a simple focus on core. So back to plie. Arms in front, and this time they're a little more narrow. So you've got stable shoulders. You're gonna rotate over one leg and the other. See how much you can freeze your hips and just move from the muscles of your core. Breathe, ease. Feel that, feel that work. Good, center it out wider, high lift, moving sideways. Again, just from your core. So we've got the added weight of our arms, this band helping us keep the shoulders stable. So just the torso does the work. How's that feel? Breathe, feel, awareness. Which little muscles are you aware of that you're not always feeling? Do you notice anything between your shoulder blades? Do you notice muscles around your armpit? So the outer rib cage, powerful muscles that are part of your core, your torso. 
All right, go ahead and release the band. Come down to a seat. Once you get down on your mat, grab your knees. Ease yourself back into that boat pose. You can hold here, hold here, or here. Knees bent or straight. Find your breath. Lift the waistband up off the floor. Good, release your feet to the mat. Go ahead and lower down onto your back. Fingertips behind the head. Let's cross over, continuing that idea of crisscross the body, obliques, side to side. As you come down, both of your shoulder blades press to the earth. Try to touch your elbows down as well. Hug in tight through those abs, everybody. And lowering your head to the ground, arms to your sides, feet together. Lift up into bridge. Use this as an exercise to feel strength in the back of your body. Knees close together. We're going to take one leg up and just lift a little higher so the standing or the bottom leg is doing the work through the glutes, through the hamstring, through your lower back. Switch. Press into the earth. Please. Push up through your hip. Breathe deep. Release your hips to the earth. Draw your knees to your chest. Give your legs a good squeeze. Move around a little bit on your low back. Hold one knee into your chest. Let the opposite leg fall to the floor. Take this knee across the body and stretch those obliques that we've been working. Hmm. Go ahead and return to center, both knees in, switch, squeeze. And go ahead and cross over. Just turn to look at your extended arm. Come back to center, roll to one side and bring yourself up to a seat. Let's find easy seat here. Place to bring your arms up overhead. Drop to one side and let's give a nice stretch through the side, all of those muscles that we got to today. So thank you for joining me today. For me, it's a lot more fun to work out knowing that you're here. Switch. Yeah, I don't want you to do it all alone. Workouts alone are not as much fun, at least for me. From here, would you just sit tall and twist a different way to get into those muscles? Switch sides. Come back to center. Bring both of your knees down to the mat. Come to a tabletop position and just go through a couple of rounds of cow and cat. Feeling the muscles of your spine. Hopefully you got a little bit sweaty today. It's 
some fun muscles. Come back to neutral. Upright, step forward with one foot and just come forward into that nice hip flexor stretch. This is a large muscle deep inside of your hips. So I'd like to give it a moment. And then stretch back to hamstrings. You can scoot your heel forward. You can walk your hands forward. Take deep breaths. And go ahead and switch. Come back to your knees. Extend to your low lunge. Let your hips fall. Let that hip flexor stretch. And then ease your way back into your hamstring. Nice long spine. So every time we show up, I try to bring something a little bit different. Through the years of exercise, I've learned that the body responds best to change, diversity, variety. So thank you for trusting that and just thanks for continuing to mix it up. Go ahead and bring your knees back underneath you. Press your hands to your hips. Let your hips press forward, your shoulders pull back. Go ahead and stretch here through the front of the body. And here in this open hearted position, just close your eyes. Allow there to be a softness across your chest. Feel the strength in your back. And as Brene Brown says, the best way to approach life is with a strong back and a soft front. Our past where we've been gives us strength so that we can open ourselves to what's ahead of us. So as you release that, just bring your hands over your heart and just ah, acknowledge the softness here, the strength. Thank you so much for being with me today and I hope you have an amazing day. See you next time for Total Body Conditioning.